Hey guys, welcome back to Rev Atlas. I'm Sandeep and in this video we have a brand new and interesting product for review and this is quite unlike any other review we have done in the past but perhaps one that is really really relevant right now especially during the time of lockdown because we all have to keep our house clean and the product is none other than the Dyson V11 Absolute Pro. So I personally have the V10 and have been using it for quite a while now, but I got this to test out and I've been actually really excited to try this out. Uh, and considering that we clean our house on a daily basis and even more so now that we are under complete lockdown, uh, this review is something that's really close to my heart and I hope you guys will enjoy as well. Now, before we get started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications for more videos like this. Now, let's begin the video. I'd like to start off the video by giving a short introduction uh, to the world of vacuum cleaners or rather Dyson itself uh, on a personal level. So while growing up, I was in the country of Bahrain. That's where my parents um, earned their livelihood. And as a result, there most of the houses came with carpets. So we didn't have tiled flooring. It was a very Middle Eastern culture thing, I guess. Now slowly they're shifting to tiles again, but carpets were very uh, common there, particularly because, you know, in the summer it got too hot and in the winter it got too cold. So carpets kind of felt nice. And especially with the air conditioned in interiors, it felt right at home. But one of the main issues with carpets was the fact that it picked up dust. And while it might not be actually visible to you, it still accumulated a lot of dust. And as a result, almost every single household that you would see in Bahrain would have a vacuum cleaner. Now, we had several vacuum cleaners. The earliest that I could remember as a kid was a Panasonic one. We had a Samsung one and we had a Sanyo one as well. All these lasted maybe one year, two years, or I think the longest it went was around four years. But over the course of the uh, uh, you know life cycle of these vacuum cleaners, uh, they developed some complaint or the other. Either the wheel came off or the suction started uh, going going down or something or the other. And at the end, when we took it to a service center also, they really said that there's nothing much we could do. Or the service cost was probably too high that it made more sense just to buy a new vacuum cleaner. So uh, a few years down the line, I came across Dyson. Uh, back then, they had the canister vacuum cleaners and the upright vacuum cleaners. And I was really intrigued as to what this is, particularly because it looked cool. They still had the sort of cyclone design back then and it looked amazingly cool and kind of space age compared to most of the other vacuum cleaners on the market. So I told my dad, let's go check it out and surely we did. But then again, like every middle class, uh, you know, dad, they saw the price and they came back. But little did um, my dad expect that years down the line, I personally would buy a Dyson and he would approve of the same. Now, allow me to explain the reason. A friend of mine who owned a camera shop in Singapore, I used to help him out as much as possible back then when I was doing my filmmaking course in Singapore. The reason being that it would allow me to get perspective of different people when uh, you know they come to the shop, the problems they face, the experiences they had with cameras. And as a result, it would allow me to grow uh, better as a photographer and videographer. So while doing that, my friend told me a very interesting proverb, which is that a poor man buys twice. And this is something that kind of uh, made sense much later on uh, when I got uh, several different uh, devices or gadgets, especially which are higher end in the price segment. So uh, this particular friend as well uh, was another reason why I went and purchased my first Dyson vacuum cleaner. So he had a Dyson vacuum cleaner, which he had for close to 10 years at the time. I think it was the DC 38 or one of those older models. And he had been using it for 10 years almost without any issue whatsoever. No need to take it to a service center. And it's working just as good as it was on day one 
Of course, he used it carefully, but still it lasted 10 years. Not that we were doing anything wrong to our particular vacuum cleaner, but it didn't last 10 years. So as a result, if you look at the cost that my dad paid for all those three or four vacuum cleaners over the course of say 10 years that would be equivalent or even more uh, actually much more than the price of one single Dyson vacuum cleaner. Now this is the sort of mentality that kind of uh, was what my friend was mentioning a poor man buys twice so he would buy something that would seem more cheaper uh, rather than spending a bit extra and getting something that could last a bit longer. Now this perhaps would uh, make sense the most for a brand like Dyson which uh, after all James Dyson is an engineer at heart and the reason their products exist is to solve issues and not just because they have the technical knowledge or they have the uh, industrial capability to create a product but rather in order to solve solutions um, to real world problems so that's why they invent products such as the vacuum cleaner and that's why their products have been so good. Now when it comes to the vacuum cleaner itself, uh, this product like I said was very popular in the Middle East but in Indian households is more of a, uh, it's, it's at least considered more of a luxury item but I think it shouldn't be so. Because I'm someone who has been using a Dyson uh, V10 for the past two years now almost ever since my son was born and we use it on a daily basis. So we are a household with three, uh, four family members you can say there's Rambo, our dog. We have Ayan, my son, my wife and myself, so four of us and these two <laughs> kids alone, they make enough of mess in the house. So every single day we have to, you know, sort of vacuum the floors, we have to clean the sofas and there's dog hair, chips, there's uh, food particles, there's name it, every single thing that's there. Sorry, I accidentally triggered this. So there's every single thing that you can imagine of on the floor, on the sofas, uh, in the curtains, everywhere. And you need something to clean that on a daily basis without having it fail on you. Now, so far I've had no issues with the Dyson V10 and that's why I was really excited to try the V11 itself, which is an upgrade um, and it might seem crazy because the V10 itself seems like a completely, um, what do you say, all-rounder of a product. Now, let's talk about the design itself and we'll also be comparing it to the V10 and the changes and the improvements that I see from the V10 itself and overall what makes this a much better product than the V10 itself. So this, of course, is a canister here which accumulates the dust. This is a bagless vacuum cleaner and is a cordless one. So here, at the bottom of the grip is where the batteries are housed. You have a charging port over here. This here is the canister where the dust gets accumulated. Uh, you have the trigger here in order to activate um, the suction itself. And as soon as you let it go, it actually cuts off. Uh, over here, you have the display at the back that allows you to change the different modes uh, as well as gives you relevant information, such as if you want to clean the filter over here, this is a HEPA filter. It's a twist and lock mechanism and this is a lifetime filter. So unlike some other vacuum cleaners where you have to change it every couple of years or once a year, this actually lasts you quite a long time. So you just need to wash it. It'll actually show you on the screen here wh whether you need to wash it or not. But uh, in the case of the V10, for example, they had a sort of LED indicator which lit up in case you needed to clean your filter. So in this, it actually shows up on the screen, which is actually cool. And it also shows you a sort of, uh, what do you say? a quick clip or like a, um, a short video on how actually you need to clear it uh, from the display itself while on the other one you had to refer to the manual in case you didn't know it. Now this here is a very ingenious method of actually clearing the dust because once the dust gets accumulated all you have to do is point and shoot that's what they call it point and shoot because I'll show it in a b-roll so you have to point it towards the dustbin or the cover that you want it and then just pull this red tab here it comes out fully opens the flap and empties all the dust in case there's something left you can just pull it out as well but this is much better than any other cordless uh, or uh, rather any other bagless vacuum cleaner I've tried because even though bagless generally is mess free there are some uh, you know bagless vacuum cleaners which still create a mess but even those are much better than vacuum cleaners which had a bag i remember growing up one of our vacuum cleaners had a bag and it was just a mess each time that you had empty it and you could, you have to keep washing it in order for it to be clean otherwise the suction won't be that great but so far this has been 
amazing and there was no issue in terms of suction as well of course if it does get full you have to empty it before you continue again and even if there's some blockage it's easy to clear you just need to clear it from here and that will show up on this display itself now coming to the display uh, as i mentioned sorry i just triggered it accidentally so coming to the display you can see the different modes here uh, so there's eco which is the lowest setting then there's medium and then there's boost which is the highest uh, and it also comes with an intelligent uh, sensor which actually detects how much sort of uh, pressure uh, is needed in or how much sort of suction is needed in order to get the dirt off a particular surface. So overall in terms of battery life although this is practically identical to the V10 in terms of the time that they quote because of this uh, feature I feel it actually lasts a bit longer because there are times where you think it actually deserves more suction whereas it doesn't actually need that much suction in order to clear the surface but because of that it actually lasts a bit longer in my personal opinion. Now this can be charged either by putting it in the docking station uh, which is wall mounted or there's a flow stand as well and you route the wire through it and it charges this or you can just directly plug it in. We haven't wall mounted this because we were planning to shift to another apartment uh, but that didn't happen because of the lockdown but nonetheless it looks similar to this particular clip that I'm showing where you can see the V10 being mounted on the wall. Of course it's a bit wider than the V10 in the base so as a result you can't actually fit it in the same stand otherwise I would have shown you that. So this base is where the batteries are housed and so far in my time with this uh, over the course of two years almost I haven't seen any major drop in terms of the battery life so far it seems almost as good as it was on day one uh, i'm not sure about the battery replacement but as far as i know you can get the batteries replaced in case you have an issue but so far almost two years has been working as good as new so i don't think you guys would face the problem as well one of the other benefits of dyson is the main uh, the power itself i mean for a device that's so compact you won't believe how much power it has how much suction power this has and that allows you to clean almost any surface that you come across be it at your home your car say curtains sofas whatever so like i said we we uh, you know we have kids at home uh, we have a dog at home and it's very difficult to clean off the dust and we had other vacuum cleaners in the past but it never really gave the same sort of effect as dyson did and one of the benefits of having a vacuum cleaner like Dyson is the fact that it also results in less allergy, uh, less dust pollution. What happens when you use a, a, a mop and a sweep etc is it kicks dust into the air and as a result what happens is anyone who is allergic to dust or who has asthma or is sensitive uh, such as me I often face issues with sneezing and allergy etc but with this it's much better that way because all the air that comes out of it is filtered through this HEPA filter and anything that goes in stays in and doesn't come out or isn't in the air. It's also much faster at picking up stuff from the floor and we did a comparison uh, you know on our tile floor assuming that uh, say X was the amount of time taken to clean with the uh, with the sweeping thing and the uh, dust pan it took much it took much lesser time with the Dyson V11 Pro and one of the other issues also I noticed is with finer dust uh, sand or these sort of particles say masala uh, or powder that fa falls onto the floor it's very difficult to sweep up the entire thing onto the dustpan itself with the broom it takes a lot of time and uh, more often than not you will leave some debris behind but with this it takes in almost everything in one shot itself and it's also about the maneuverability one of the main things with having a cordless vacuum cleaner uh, that you don't realize until you have one is the fact that it's so easy the older vacuum cleaners had a long cord it was very long but it was still cumbersome you had to pull it out each and every time connect it and then you know move around and in case you do a stretch a bit extra it would come off the wall and immediately cut the power itself in this you don't have to worry about any of that you can practically cover the entire house in one single motion uh, or one single session and um, the other benefit is also that the heads that they give the different heads the different tools all of them have a specific purpose so there's one that is used to just dust off stuff i use it for my keyboard uh, my monitor tv etc uh, there's one you know that helps you get over the fan and clean it there's one that is for curtains there's one for hard floors there's one for carpets there's one for fabric and much more so there's so many different attachments that you get with this that you don't need to look at any other tool in order to clean your house the only slight disadvantage i would say is that this doesn't do wet cleaning 
but then again um, electronics and water generally don't mix and then i'm not sure how exactly they would achieve the same sort of uh, turbine or cyclone technology with water but in the future hopefully we get a wet cleaning solution from Dyson as well but apart from that in order to keep the air and environment dust free and as clean as possible this is a great tool so far and I've had no issues with it whatsoever now even in terms of the volume one of the issues uh, that generally happens is vacuums are very loud and uh, especially for homes with kids or dogs they are generally my son particularly loves uh, actually vacuum cleaners uh, my dog is kind of afraid of some vacuum cleaners so earlier we had one a few years back uh, before the Dyson V10 and that was very loud and he used to run and sit on his bed most of the time when that was on but with the V10 he actually doesn't mind he used to come closer to it to see what's happening and with the V11 it's actually a bit more quieter I would say so I'll just show you the different modes and the kind of um, noise or the kind of sound that you can expect from this so I'll start with eco I'll go to medium now and high Boost. so with each you get a dynamic uh, level where it shows you the amount of battery left so if I press this now you will see a timer so it counts the exact number of minutes and seconds how much is left now I'm gonna go, go up So you can probably even hear the wind hitting so it's actually the air coming out from the filter here but it's perfectly fine it's purely filtered air so there's no issue with that uh, and other than that I would say this is also something that I personally carry with me the V10 I used to carry with me in the car at times I do give it to 3M car care and they do a great job at cleaning it but it's not financially feasible to give it to them each and every time so we carry it with us especially when we go on a road trip keep it in the car as and when needed just kind of clean the car you know chips and whatever things or food stuff that's there on the floor just clean it up and you're good to go again and it lasts generally at least three four days in terms of use uh, for a road trip so you don't even need to carry the charger with you so that way speaking it's a very practical device and the v11 seems to improve on every single um, aspect that the v10 was good at and even improve on things which the v10 was not good at which again is practically nothing i can say so what dyson has created here is basically a product that is nothing like anything and something that only they can do um, it's not uh, you know very common or it's it's very 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 rare that you get a product that is uh, without any cons and that's exactly what they have been doing they have been improving stuff but is not because the previous generation was not good it's it's just that they they have the drive or that energy to keep pushing and make things better with each and every generation so that's what they've been doing and now the v v11 absolute pro is like the latest and the best uh, of their technological progress and all their learnings that they have had over the years when they announced that they were stopping you know corded vacuum cleaners i was a bit skeptical because i didn't know about the battery i didn't know about the suction but once i tried it it totally changed the way i looked at vacuum cleaners and it totally made me buy it so if you are also skeptical like me or were skeptical uh, i would advise you to kind of go and try this out either request a demo at home or go try it out in the store and you will not be disappointed trust me because the way this thing works is unlike anything and they have put so much thought and R&D into this that you know it, it really makes a huge difference to the way you live your life on a daily basis so if you're someone at home who has kids uh, who has pets this will definitely come in handy and you will not regret it and it even lasts a long time that it is definitely worth the asking price like I said before a poor man buys twice uh, and it perhaps makes sense to invest in something like this which will last you a long time rather than get some uh, other vacuum cleaner which costs maybe a, a fraction of it one third of it but keep changing it every so often because it tends to die down this is the gold version this is retailing at around 59,990 while there's also a nickel uh, version I think nickel or blue version which is around 52,990 there's slight differences in between both but I'll link the products in the description below you can check it out uh, compare which version you want but if you want the absolute best go for the v11 absolute pro gold that's it for this video guys if you have any questions do let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching see you again in the next one don't forget to hit the subscribe button